not attempting to halt the resumption of the basketball season in Orlando. Our main objective is to raise awareness and gain transparency on the things that concern us collectively. Many of our fellow players are afraid to voice their concerns and are continuing to follow along with what they believe they have to. As radical as Kyrie may sound, he is 100% correct. We are no longer slaves. So every man has a right to transparency in order to make sound decisions. If any one of us chooses to sit, it has nothing to do with another player's right to play. Either way, regardless of what criticism and retribution we face, we still want to protect the players who are afraid to protect themselves. We will ask all the uncomfortable questions that can lead us to truth in unity. Meanwhile, Kevin Durant responded on Instagram to a post of Kendrick Perkins' criticism of Kyrie Irving with the words, sell out, then retweeted a video of Perkins airballing a jumper. Stephen A., I'll start mm -hmm. with you here. Um, a lot to digest. After this recent statement <laughs> and KD's post, what's your reaction to all of this? Well, first of all, I think that uh, whoever represents Dwight Howard or whoever wrote that statement need to do a better job of, of articulating uh, what the position was because our issue with Kyrie Irving and, and Dwight Howard certainly had nothing to do with who they were or are as men. It has nothing to do with who they are as players. Um, it had everything to do with the lack of clarity that they were disseminating while they were speaking purportedly. That was the issue. You were not being clear about what you wanted to say. You did not have a plan. In the White Howard's case specifically, he went on CNN and did nothing but mumble. He didn't know what the hell he was talking about. That's how he came across. That's the issue. And I think that the White Howard is a very good guy and a smart guy, but that was not his brightest moment because simply he wasn't clear about what he was saying. It made no sense. That was the issue that people were getting on them about. Nobody was trying to change their position. You're trying to say, be clear about what it is that you want. Be specific and stay focused. That was the issue. Now let me get to Kevin Durant. You know, Jay Williams brought, you know, uh, obviously KD brought me on the boardroom. We had talked on, on prior occasions to that. I have profound and tremendous respect for, for Kevin Durant. Y'all know how I feel about him. I think that he's probably the best in the world when healthy, and I can't wait for him to get back on the basketball court because we all miss him. He's smart. He's bright. He's incredibly accomplished. All of those superlatives do, belong to be associated with him. So I would answer the question by throwing a rhetorical question in your direction, Jay, Max, and others before I continue on, and that is this. During this time of strife in our nation's history, with everybody clearly needing to come together, it's one thing if you disagree with an idea or you disagree with what somebody is saying and you articulate that position. But at a time when folks all over the place are calling for black people to unite more than ever before, and if you're going to disagree, just disagree with ideas, but come together. Kevin Durant, a brilliant young man and obviously a brilliant basketball player, the only word we've heard from you on this issue is calling Kendrick Perkins a sellout. Who really looks bad? I got news for you. It's not Kendrick Perkins. It's Kevin Durant. Because you have much more in your arsenal to explain your position rather than simply denigrating a former teammate of yours. I understand where it's coming from because as I've told Kendrick Perkins in the past, you were in that locker room. You wore the same uniform. So the things that you say are going to be inhaled differently than it emanating from a person that's in the media as a profession throughout his career as opposed to a former player that is in the media. But if you, di if you really dissect and deduce what Kendrick Perkins is saying, I got to side with Ke Kendrick Perkins here in terms of what he was saying about Kyrie. He said, quote, Kyrie wanted to play. It wasn't until Kyrie Irving couldn't get what he wanted that he came up with other things. Whether that's true or not, that's according to Kendrick Perkins because of the number of players 
he had spoken to who were obviously on those calls. So if Kyrie Irving's position has changed and it deviates from the leadership and you as a vice president is involved, but you're doing things that even the president of the Players Association is not aware of, then it seems counterproductive to what you're supposedly trying to accomplish. So Kendrick Perkins may have been a bit acerbic, a bit abrasive, a bit truculent in pointing those things out, but nevertheless, he articulated in depth what his issue was. So for me, if Kyrie Irving or anybody who wants to support Kyrie Irving wants to come at Kendrick Perkins, come at Kendrick Perkins with your own facts to highlight and illuminate what your position is as opposed to simply labeling him a sellout. 35 ventures along with buying a piece of an MLS, uh, MLS team with all the things that Kevin Durant has accomplished as a basketball player, as a man, as a businessman with Rich Kleiman, and the phenomenal, incredible things that he is and what he represents. Forgive me if I'm a bit disappointed that all you've got, I mean, think about this, Jay, all Kevin Durant has said in this entire ordeal publicly is the word sellout. Attached to Kendrick Perkins. No, how uh, productive Stephen is a, that? I, I got, That's I, I all I'm saying. Correct you. Brother, they did come out. He had a couple of articles where he's came out and he's talked about. I'm not taking one side or the other right now. Just giving you facts. He's came out with a couple of articles talking about sure. social injustice and things of that sort. So it's not the only thing he said, but I okay. hear what you're saying. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Um, My bad. Then I, I apologize for that. I, part. I, I, I did not see that. I don't think this one. Okay.